Hey, we're gonna do a tour of this here chicken coop. This is JD. <laughs> All, All right. right, this is the Ritz. Mm. First off, we're gonna see it has a metal roof, which is awesome for this time of year in this part of the country because we get lots of snow. Snow slides right off, doesn't leak. And we got uh, clear plexiglass stuff for the back, so it gets plenty of light in there. Uh, on the north side right now. Got windows with screening so they can't escape on us. Now, when we built this, we didn't have any hinges, so we made a trap door. It works just fine. A little piece of wood with a, with a spacer behind it so it slips behind. And a genuine, handmade, patented closure. Very nice. That's what you do when you don't have hinges handy. It might even be better than hinges. <laughs> yeah, they actually work really good. And as you notice, this is all scrounge material. Ta-da! Somebody's road sign sat out there too long, so he stole it and cut it up. <laughs> no, actually, somebody made it and got it never used. Uh, this is my genuine door stop. This is for keeping the door open so it doesn't flop around in the wind. Patented also. <laughs> this is the Ritz. Uh, again, a door closer. Really, really good. Latch to keep the door shut. We had some uh, hardware wire to make the door out of, which works really, really good. Uh, screening doesn't work so good because it's too easy to pop. Uh, chicken wire would work just fine too. And if you walk in, uh, genuine homemade roost, which the chickens like, but they like the highest roost. So the chickens all sit in the top two roosts at night. This is the guineas roost because they don't get along with anybody. <laughs> so they get banished to the outside roost. It's a pretty nice roost though. Uh, as you can see, light comes in on this, works really nice. We had heat lamps when we first moved them out here and they were just little shavers. And we put it down close to the floor so they ended up having a little heat. Uh, we got chicken feeder. We got a hanging chicken feeder, which works actually, the hanging one works really good. They don't waste too much. Got chicken water, which needs cleaned right now. Uh, this is a dirt floor. So all we did when we first put them in, it was grass, and they chopped it all down, and then we started putting straw in here. Um, that's their exit going out into the chicken chicken hut part. Anyways, we put that on so we could capture the chickens easily when we want to. Uh, also, that's movable. I can go outside and take a look at it. Here's my genuine feed, feed storage for I don't have to go chase the feed around. The chickens decorated for me, which is really cool. Ooh, interesting paint job. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the chicken wire stuff that you can buy. It's not real cheap, but it really works nice. It's easy to move, it's easy to put up, it carries the current good. We have a 12 mile fencer or 50 mile fencer hooked to this thing. That sucker is hot. Don't go with the little <laughs> tiny fencers. Get the biggest sucker you can get. You want to educate your coyotes, your cats, your dogs, your chickens, so they don't even want to look at it. Get a big, powerful fencer. It doesn't use any more electricity. Only problem is don't touch it. I accidentally touched this the other day and my finger went numb after I danced for five minutes. Yep. Uh, we put a strand in front of the gate in case somebody wanted to decide to try the gate to get in, like farm it, critter or something. Ah. Uh, again, genuine chicken gate holder, patented. Patent's coming out on this. Works slick. Gonna make millions. Uh, this we made, we, we got a kit from, from, uh, garage sale that had these metal brackets to make this uh, fancy dancy chicken tractor thing. This doesn't have to be this tall. This doesn't have to be that fancy. All we did is we built it. We put chicken wire on it. In the back we got a couple skids we screwed to the bottom. So we can hook this with the tractor and pull it really 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 easy. This could have been about this high. would have been just fine too. So if we were kind of lazy we didn't want to bend over to walk in it. Um, it's got a door in the back so we can close this off. 
So if we want to move the chickens, all we do is close this door, run them out of the chicken coop into this, and this we can just drag. I can just pick it up and drag it. Oh, very nice. It's not very heavy. Yep. Anyways, and then we can move that with the tractor. The only reason we don't leave them there is move the tractor because there's no floor. We don't worry about them catching them as we're moving them. Yep. So this works real good for moving the chickens. Okay. Uh, and again, it's, it's simple. It was inexpensive. We scrounged the wood and we had uh, just about the chicken wire. About this in the garage so you don't have to get that fancy. Uh, you could have a chicken tractor that looks something like that one there if you wanted to, so that doesn't make any difference. Mm -hmm. This is our attack guineas. They will squawk <laughs> you to death if you let them. Mm-hmm. How many chickens you got out here? Thirty chickens. Thirty chickens. And we got different kinds. And see, if you notice when the guineas come, all the chickens leave because the guineas are kind of bullies. Yep. So they peck the chickens. So the chickens all scatter when the guineas come. And we're just about to separate them so that the guineas can have their own space and they can beat on each other instead of the chickens. All right. uh, else would you like to know? Um, so uh, what are you using these chickens for? Oh, these are all egg laters. There's no males here, which okay. is kind of torture, but we not, just... Not even one rooster? Not one rooster. That's why I never hear any crowing. I, yeah. didn't, I, I didn't realize that. Yeah, so anyways, uh, these are all just egg layers. Uh, we got 30. We'll have... Well, we haven't put the nests... You notice we didn't put any nests in here yet? Yep. Because uh, they're just not old enough yet to lay yet, but they're getting closer. And these... Month, maybe. These are, uh, what, uh, what is it, four months, five months? No, I got them in June, I think. June, July, July, August, September. So almost four months old. Okay. So about another month. So how much, uh, how many eggs do you think you get out of 30 chickens? Uh, probably two dozen a day. Pretty good. Yep. I have to eat a lot of eggs. Now and this salsa. grass, this, this past, see, this is the second second pasture we've moved them to it takes me about three hours to move this fence and it's nice because I can move my completely clean pasture with lots of grass and bugs and, and stuff we had there was actually if you can believe it tons of grasshoppers out here when we first moved them out here <laughs> it took them about two days I all see the grasshoppers a, gone yes a distinct lack of grasshoppers in the chicken zone now the funny thing about it is if I walk around the outside where there's still grasshoppers, mm -hmm. the chickens follow me because some of the grasshoppers hop in, <laughs> and the chickens are on them like right now. So if you got a grasshopper problem, chickens are awesome. Yep. And guineas are big time bug eaters. Yeah, I hear they're real good for ticks. Yeah, it's fine when we first turned them out here, they formed a line like this that just walked through the grass, <laughs> and their heads are just going <laughs> like this, just eating the bugs as fast as they could get them in. Cool. They're eating machines when it comes to bugs. Uh, this was a bunch of uh, wood chips that were stored out here from something else. And when we put them out here, there's all sorts of worms and bugs and beetles and spiders and stuff. And chickens kind of... Yes. Was, this was high when we put it out here. <laughs> As you can see, they flattened it all down, eating all the bugs and all the worms and stuff. Very nice, getting them some protein. Chicken treats are uh, mealworms. Mm -hmm. You buy them by the bag. Chickens absolutely love mealworms. And we're just looking into growing black soldier flies. Um, we looked into maggots, but you know, having dead carcasses around just isn't real appealing. Uh, the soldier flies will eat uh, vegetables. Not, uh, you don't have to have. <laughs> the chickens think I'm out here. I should be feeding them. I should have a treat for them. These are possibly the friendliest chickens I've ever seen. <laughs> yep, I've been... I think my daughter has names for most of them, too. <laughs> yeah, she forgets them and renames them every time she Yeah, but that, it's cute at least. <laughs> Alright, let's see. That was the tour of the chicken coop in the yard. Alright.